From the whirlwind of time travel to infinite versions of Loki, there was a lot to unpack in Loki Season 1, and it seems like we've only just scratched the surface, because Season 2 is going to be a whole lot crazier. So when is it coming out? The wait for Loki fans is almost over. Head writer of the first season, Michael Waldron, has signed a contract with Disney and will be involved in the upcoming second season. The mid credit sequence of the first season's finale which was released in July 2021, made it official that Loki would be getting a second season. It'll be part of Marvel Studios Phase 5. Although no one knows the exact release date yet, fans can expect Loki Season 2 to drop in mid-2023. That's in just a couple of months' time! In the meantime, we can always watch the first season. Another question everyone's been asking is will the cast stay the same? Well, yes. At least for the most part, familiar faces will be returning, along with some new ones. Marvel Studios D23 confirmed that eight MCU characters will return for Loki Season 2. Tom Hiddleston, who plays the god of mischief himself, would be back, along with the rest of the Season 1 cast. Like Gugu and Batha Ra, as Ravonna Renslayer, Tara Strong as Miss Minutes, Owen Wilson as Mobius M. Mobius, Sofia DiMartino as Sylvie, and Eugene Cordero as Casey, slash Hunter K5E. Plus, Jonathan Majors could be appearing as Kang the Conqueror, an alternate version of He Who Remains. Moving on to some of the new faces joining the MCU family through Loki Season 2, Raphael Casals' mysterious yet important role in the upcoming season was officially announced by the studio in July. But we still don't know much about his character. But judging by how Marvel handles these kinds of things, I wouldn't be surprised if he had a major part to play in connecting Loki with the Marvel multiverse. The cast list got another member in September, with Ki Hee Kwan added as a Time Variance Authority archivist, something we get to see a glimpse of in the teaser trailer. Speaking of the trailer, Loki season has to be one of the most talked about shows during Disney's D23 Expo from September 9th to September 11th, 2022. Kevin Feige shared a few details on the show and revealed that Loki is still trying to make sense of what happened after the season 1 ending. Marvel also released an official teaser for Loki season 2, which looks at what could happen in the future. So what could happen in the next season? Loki and Mobius have been reunited, but it's not quite as happy an occasion as one might think. We got a glimpse of their reunion in the end credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. It showed Loki and Mobius watching a present presentation by the terrifying Victor Timely, who seems to be a variant of Kang, the infamous time-manipulating villain. And it's clear from their expressions that they know something no one else does. It's unsurprising that Loki and Mobius are still friendly, since the recent trailer for the upcoming Season 2 of Loki confirmed this. They might be working together to try and prevent Victor Timely from controlling time, which could be a major plot point in the upcoming season. In the short scene from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, it's revealed that they're searching the multiverse for Kang variants. Whether they're doing this to serve their own interests or on orders from a new TVA overlord is unclear, but it's clear that this is the main story setup for Loki Season 2. It seems like Loki and Mobius will be going on a multiverse-wide search for Kang variants, which could mean encountering some pretty dangerous enemies enemies. Other than the main plot, there are also some theories going around. Like Sylvie could be the Enchantress. If you thought Loki was trouble in the comics, just wait until you meet Sylvie. As Season 1 hinted at, it looks like this female Loki is none other than the Enchantress, also known as Sylvie Lushton. You see, not much is known about her background yet, which has left fans speculating. How did she come to be? What kind of powers does she possess. Most importantly, what is her plan for wreaking havoc in the timeline? Loki was put in charge of tracking down this powerful variant by Mobius and the TVA, and we can only imagine the mayhem that's going to ensue when he comes face to face with his female counterpart. But that's not all. There's also a theory that Kang the Conqueror could be the emperor of this new timeline. In the Loki season 1 finale, Loki and Sylvie were finally brought face to face with the one 
behind the TVA, He Who Remains, a variant of Kang the Conqueror. This powerful being had created the TVA to protect the universe from his vast army of interdimensional conquerors who tried to control time and space. He Who Remains offered Loki and Sylvie a choice, either take over the TVA to preserve the sacred timeline or kill him and risk an all-out war with his variants. Despite her determination to get revenge on whoever was responsible for the TVA, Sylvie chose to send Loki through a portal while she stayed behind and killed He Who Remains. When Loki came back, a statue of Kang the Conqueror was standing in place of the figures of the Timekeepers, indicating that this timeline is now under his control. But Loki could actually be in an altered timeline. Everyone's been left scratching their heads after the Loki season finale. Loki warned Mobius and Hunter B-15 of war with Kang variants, but they didn't recognize him. What could this mean? Well, some theories suggest that Sylvie sent Loki to a TVA in a different timeline where he doesn't exist or has a different appearance. This could explain why Mobius and Hunter B-15 don't know who he is in the end. But I have to wonder, if the TVA is outside of time, how can it be affected by changes in events? Is this an alternate timeline with consequences for not just Loki's season 2, but the entire MCU? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out. But there is one thing that's basically confirmed. Loki and Sylvie's relationships gonna get further. The relationship between Loki and Sylvie is one of the most interesting parts of the show. It's full of trust issues, emotional roller coasters, heart-stopping moments, and plenty of sparks. While these two might have some trust issues, their interactions and growing connections can't be denied. And, of course, Loki and his variants are notorious for betraying those he trusts the most. Even though it's happened over and over again in his story arc, some part of him must want to believe he can overcome this pattern and develop a bond with Sylvie. Their relationship came to a head in the final episode of Season 1, when Loki and Sylvie shared a passionate kiss. Right before Sylvie sent him off with a portal, the two were left in different places, both emotionally and physically, as they prepared for Season 2. This could lead to plenty of conflict between them, but it also has the potential for a strong alliance that could help save the multiverse from Kang. Speaking of romance, Ravona Renslayer will be Kang the Conqueror's love interest. Renslayer and Kang the Conqueror have been a couple in the comics for a while now, with their travels through time only strengthening the bond between them. But in the show, we see Ravona remain just as clueless about the truth behind the TVA as everyone else, leading her to leave on a mission to find answers. With the multiverse having been introduced, some fans are speculating that the Ravona we might see in Season 2 might be a completely different variant of her, an evil one, and not the one who left through a portal in the Season 1 finale. That's all I have on Loki Season 2 for now.